Part 1 Election Morning Setup The electronic poll books or EPBs are prepped and sealed by the registrar staff and picked up by the chief or assistant chief the Sunday before election day. The EPBs are not part of pre-election setup. Cut the seal on the blue carrying case. Remove the Merlin and a yellow extension cord and provide them to the chief officer. The poll book officers will set up the EPBs, but will wait for the chief's okay before pressing the power buttons on each laptop. The chief officer must set the Merlin up out of sight and reach of voters. Make sure the yellow extension cord is plugged into a working outlet. Plug the white power cord from the Merlin into the yellow extension cord. A red light will appear showing the device is receiving power. A white light will begin to flash on the ubiquity. Please do not remove the tape securing other inserted drives on the Merlin. Retrieve the key for the Merlin from the small envelope labeled key slash Merlin USB. Insert the flash drive when the flashing light turns from white to solid blue. Make sure to press and hold the power button on the uninterruptible power supply for two seconds to allow for the green power light to appear. The chief officer will instruct the poll book officers when to turn on the EPBs. See step two in the EPB manual to find the Windows login password. Double click the ePoll tab icon on the desktop. The chief may have to remove and reinsert the key into the Merlin device if the screen pops up announcing the Merlin cannot be found. If the screen appears, click open to proceed as long as the words are green and read poll books match. Click close on the peripheral devices box. The chief officer will provide each poll book officer with their login password. Remember each EPB has its own password. We are currently logged into Precinct 39. The polls must be open on the EPB to check in voters. If the poll book officers do not open the polls on the EPBs, the officers will be able to look up voters but will not be able to check them in on the EPB. No voter should receive a voting permit without being checked in on the EPB first. To open the polls, click on the menu bar in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Click open polls in the second row labeled polls. Only one poll book officer is required to do this because the computers are connected by the Merlin, but it is okay if each officer does this step on his or her assigned EPB. The polls are now open. The poll book summary screen automatically appears once the polls are open and closed on the EPBs. The chief officer will provide the poll book officers with four pink poll book summary forms to be completed before the polls open at 11 a.m., again at 3 p.m., and after the polls close. All totals should read zero except the number of voters in the precinct before the polls open. Click close to return to the search screen. 
At 11 a.m. and 3 p.m., the poll book summary form information can be found by clicking on the menu bar in the lower right-hand corner of the screen and selecting Location Summary under the row labeled Summary. The Location Summary shows required information as well as the number of registered voters in the precinct. Click Close to return to the search screen. Likewise, the poll book summary also shows the required information and the number of registered voters for the entire city. Either screen can be used to complete the summary forms. Click Close to return to the search screen. The completed poll book summary form should be placed in bag 7D2. Remember, this process will repeat at 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and after the polls closed. Part 2, Operating the EPBs. Make sure to follow the check-in process as outlined on the voter check-in poster. Ask the voter for his or her full legal name and type the information into the search bar, last name, comma, first name. The voter will not be found without the comma. Ask the voter for his or her current residential address and verify that information matches the information on the EPB screen. Ask for an acceptable form of identification. The What If document will provide answers for a number of different scenarios. Like, if the information the voter provides verbally does not match the information displayed on the EPB screen, or if the voter does not have an acceptable form of ID, or even if a voter requires assistance. Remember, consult the What If document for any issues. Click the green check voter in button after the voter's information is verified. Click Continue if none of the voter flags apply, then click OK. The voter's name will highlight in red to show he or she has been checked in on the poll book. The poll book officer is now able to provide the voter with a voting permit to proceed to the ballot officer. Part 3, Federal Elections. All voters are required to provide an acceptable form of ID on election day. However, during an election for a federal office such as President, U.S. Senate, or U.S. House of Representatives, first-time voters who registered by mail are not allowed to use an alternate form of ID like the confirmation statement. These voters are known as have a voters. Consult the what-if document if the have a voter does not have an acceptable form of ID. Federal elections also have federal-only voters. This information will be displayed on the voter's record. This means the voter will receive a ballot containing only the federal offices up for election. This only applies to general elections with federal offices. Part 4, Closing the Polls. After the last voter has cast his or her ballot and exited the precinct after 7 p.m., the closing process will begin. The chief officer will type in the closing password on the EPB, the poll book summary screen will appear after the polls have been closed. The final poll book summary form should be completed and placed in bag 7D2. Click the red X in the upper right corner to return to the desktop. Click the Windows key in the lower left-hand corner and select the power symbol. Choose Shut Down. Disconnect everything from the EPBs once the screens are black. 
Consult the Guide to Packing Bags document to ensure the required items are packed in the correct bags and envelopes. After the EPBs have powered off, the Chief Officer will unplug the Merlin from the yellow extension cord. The Chief will remove the sand disc flash drive labeled 72 from the Merlin and place it inside bag 72. Next, the Chief will remove the flash drive labeled 71 and place it inside bag 71. Do not disconnect any additional cords, wires, or inserted devices from the Merlin. Disconnect the antennas from the Ubiquiti and place them back inside the case. Place the Ubiquiti and power cord inside the case. Close and latch the Merlin. Return it and the yellow extension cord to the blue carrying case The blue carrying case should be packed neatly for return to the registrar's office.